ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters, and we're all waking up to a dusting of snow this morning. Let's take a look at a couple of Skycam pictures here very quickly. There's Birmingham, and this just illustrates the problem. We are having a few problems on bridges and overpasses, so if you have to get out today, be especially careful. The snow has not been a real issue, primarily uh, less than an inch in most locations across central Alabama. But if you're out driving, be very careful. Those bridges can be quite chilly. Huntsville, uh, looking up there, we can see a little bit of snow on that bridge just to the left center part of the picture. And how about this? A little encouraging sight down at Gulf Shores. I don't see any snow down there, but of course the white sandy beach always looks nice. Surface lows moving up through with the Western Carolinas this morning, and the snow should be ending from west to east across central Alabama. There's our deep eastern trough that is uh, headed out of the area, but is going to make for a rather chilly day today. Temperatures uh, and this uh, uh, temperatures across central Alabama generally in the uh, upper 20s and lower 30s uh, for most locations. And I don't think we're going to see much change in temperatures today with a strong northwesterly wind. It certainly is a mess for the eastern part of the country with a number of winter storm and storm warnings out. Those are the blue areas. Uh, we've got some flash flood uh, problems up there along the uh, Mid-Atlantic coast up into New England and some coastal flood and we've got some wind advisories. That's the brown areas and a, and a tornado watch uh, there for extreme eastern Carolina. So basically a mess across the eastern third of the country. QPF for the next five days looks like we won't see much rain and any rain that we do on this would come very late on uh, Thursday. This ends Thursday morning. All right, let's get to the 06Z GFS model run. Here's the upper pattern for today, the 500 millibar pattern, and there goes our trough and the vorticity center uh, headed out to the mid-Atlantic states, and with that, taking that surface low uh, from uh, the southeastern U.S. up into the mid-Atlantic states and creating a, a real mess uh, for the general area up there, although it probably won't be a mess exactly along the coastline, although it could be a strong enough low to create some wind problems. The uh, upper air pattern uh, looks a little calmer for us on Sunday, but we've got a couple of different troughs, one up there uh, just to the uh, west of the Great Lakes and another one coming through the southern part of the Rockies. Uh, they weaken as they come further east. This is for Monday, uh, and they probably won't do much more than bring us some clouds. Uh, as you can see, uh, general surface high pressure on Monday uh, and perhaps some clouds with those fast-moving systems aloft, but certainly uh, no serious problems, it looks like. The high surface uh, high settles in over the southeastern U.S. on uh, Tuesday, so we should have a pretty good day. The uh, ridge moves in on Wednesday, but our next system is taking shape in the southern Rockies out there. That upper system moves our way, or moves at least a little bit closer, into uh, central Texas, by the uh, Thursday time frame, midday on Thursday, and with it, a surface low is forming in Texas, and that should begin to produce some rain to our west. That rain moves our way as the surface low comes across the area, and that could produce some strong thunderstorms for Thursday night and into the early part of Friday morning, and that would be uh, the 13th and 14th. So we'll be watching that as our next weather-producing system. Uh, we get into a flattened pattern across the southeastern U.S. on the 15th. That's the Ides of March, Saturday the 15th. And uh, the surface low heads on out past New England. And uh, certainly no uh, big weather system and looks, uh, by those thicknesses, fairly mild. And as we head out finally, it looks like the pattern stays rather flat on Sunday the 16th of March. Now let's quickly go out. We're just going to look at one map in voodoo country. Here comes uh, another system around the 22nd of uh, March. And, uh, this is Saturday, uh, about two weeks out. And with that, uh, looks like a pretty good shot at some significant rain. Well, we certainly appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters. Hope that you stay warm today. And if you don't have to get out there and travel, please don't. Have the next video tomorrow morning around uh, 8 o'clock or so. Have a great Saturday and God bless.